Uh, we have did a video on the Samsung 49 inch uh, super ultra wide monitor and I've had a lot of feedback. Some good, some not so good. The good feedback is like, oh, thanks for the video. And the negative feedback is like, hey, you really should have gone more into this. And so we are going to create a more into this video. Hello, my name is Peter West with West Networks. And today I'm going to do a four or five month uh, post review of the 49 inch super ultra wide Samsung monitor. And I'm gonna do it a little bit more in depth uh, than what I did in my previous video and hopefully answering some additional questions that people have. Um, one of them, just to start with, is a lot of people are complaining that it's not a 4K. And I wanna say that it can't be a 4K because the aspect ratio is not supportive of 4K. They could have made it a little bit higher resolution, but, but they couldn't make it 4K. And so, um, and then the other thing is people complain about the fact that it looks squished. It is no different than two 27 inch monitors side by side. And so, uh, you know, it, it, this is in effect, two 27 inch monitors side by side. And so what I wanna talk about is how I use it for work, how effective it is for work, um, and then also show some games on it. I do like to play some light gaming, but I'm not heavy into gaming. Um, so I'm gonna do a uh, cockpit view driving because I got a lot of feedback about the lack of cockpit view driving. Um, I'm also gonna play some first person shooters and then I'm gonna show how I use it for work. In addition to that, I am also going to then show the same thing. So I'm gonna do something and then I'm gonna do it again with a dual screen support and then I'm gonna do it again with three screens. So you'll be able to see single 49 inch versus dual 27 inch versus three 27 inch. These are all 1080p screens. None of this is 4K. And yes, we could buy 4K monitors, but we're not going to. That's not the purpose of this review. Um, I have pre-ordered the Asus monitor. I'm looking forward to getting that. Uh, and I will do that review on my new uplift desk that I just received. But that's not this video. This video is a 1080 by 3840 versus 1080 27 inch screens to make it apples to apples fair comparison. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this new desk, which I'm super excited about, and then start the uh, review of the 49 inch screen. Okay, so I now have an amazing desk. Um, thanks to the Human Solution for sending me this uplift desk. This is an 80 by 30 by one inch um, with a four pro programmatic uh, setting. So I can choose the height automatically. So if I press two, it'll lower down to my two setting. If I press three, it'll go up to my three setting. Um, I'm playing around four goes all the way up as high as it can go and one puts it at a sitting setting. And then I have this neat floor mat that helps me with my feet and it's anti-fatigue, uh, a tablet and laptop stand and wire and cable management underneath, which just means that I have one extension cord that goes to the wall and I can move this around without any real issue. Uh, I've always been a fan of three monitors and since getting this monitor, I have not desired the triple monitor solution since then. It has been the best setup I've ever used. I like how if I have multiple windows open, I can move them around anywhere I want, regardless of bezel location. So in a triple monitor setup, you could imagine two black bars right here. In a double monitor setup, there's a black bar right here. So I can't, I, I you know, you're gonna be like this, you're gonna be like this, and then you're gonna try to snap it. Um, 
And I find this, I can just, I can move stuff around exactly how I want it to be. Um, and, and so it allows me to have really fluid productivity where I don't crave the three monitor solution. Samsung has utility that lets you create multiple views. I find it to be very annoying and I've uninstalled it, but it does work. You can, you can use like windows keys and you can say, you can snap, you can create uh, like a four grid or a three grid, which gives you three separate screens. I find it much easier just to position the monitors where I want them to be positioned. This computer is a i7 7700K with two 1080 Ti's and SLI mode. Um, I am very aware that some games don't support SLI and it might be better to do it one way or the other. Once again, not the purpose of the video, don't really care. Um, so you can see here, I've got to set the maximum 3D performance. SLI is enabled. My physics is currently on 1080 Ti number two. I'm running an i7 7700K um, with water cooling, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and I'm running Windows um, 10 64-bit, so uh, 4.2 gigahertz. Nothing is overclocked. Um, I can overclock it, but once again, that's, that's not the purpose of the video. Uh, the purpose of the video is just to show you the difference between super ultra wide, dual, and three screen setups. So I'm playing Far Cry 5 right now, and once again, resolution and all these other little things are not the point of this. The point is to, to show what gaming looks like in this. Um, so it's running at 144 hertz. I'm on, let's go ahead and just check out my settings real fast. Video, oops. So I'm on custom aspect ratio, full screen, 144 hertz, refresh rate. Uh, custom ultra ultra high 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 motion blur is on so you can see everything's pretty much ultra I mean yeah everything's maxed out so all the settings are maxed out um, it says I'm using five or four and a half gigs of my 11 10, 10.7 gigs of total available space um, and and the idea uh, this game one this game is intense anyways um, the idea is just to kind of see what's happening, see how immersive it is. And what you want to be looking at, what I've noticed is what you want to be looking at with the um, this particular monitor um, is the way that the motion, um, the side of the screen is right here. So in, in when we set up spanning and you're going to the, the three triple monitor, what you'll notice is that over your, your, your left two monitors all they're doing is they're stretching this portion. They're just, it's like really stretched out. Um, whereas when you're on this monitor, let me just show up here, you see nothing is stretched or blurred. It's, it's a pure vision of the entire um, screen. So you're not getting any blur um, on the left and the right, which gives you just a, an incredibly wide point of view without without losing any of the detail that you would get uh, from, from the gaming. So now let's play some Dirt 4. And I am not a gamer of, it, of, of driving games at all. So um, I don't have a key, I don't have a steering wheel, I don't have a controller. Um, it's just so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Audi. Now I do like the way that it goes yeah, into the stretch. So there's my cockpit view. But what I really like about about this, one, I love how it looks. I mean, it just feels real. Um, two, I like how the sides, the left and right sides are not... Um, once again, try to get a couple screenshots of this as well. Um, but switch views. So here's a more of a driver view. And then switch views a little bit. So here's like a full, full blown cockpit view. Oh, 
So full full cockpit view here. So you have that view, rear view. I kind of like this view the best. It feels like you're in the car. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up two 27 inch monitors and do the same thing. Now this is my two 27s. This is the exact same specifications minus the refresh rate of the Samsung Super Ultra Wide. It's two 27 inch screens. It's a 3840 by 1080 uh, resolution. But what happens is you, you effectively lose a large area in the center of the screen. Because when you have a web page split like this, even though pixel to pixel, you're not losing any pixels, it's not very easy to read um, to go across that bar. So you'll find yourself working in the left half or in the right half, but never, never taking advantage of the center section um, or being able to maximize re real estate. Let's pull up. Far Cry 5, and you can already see it's like it's kind of annoying. It's like the P and then A Y. It, it, you know, it's just it, it's great replacement in my opinion for 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 two monitors. Now give it two monitors, 100 and or 220 bucks, 230 bucks, maybe 280. I mean, 27 inch screens. So this is right where I left off, but you can see like. Like there's that bar right in the middle of my um, screen that makes it really hard to kind of focus on what you're doing. What's nice about this is there's no there's no major stretching on the left and right. Um, but I feel like if we were to compare it, let me do an F12. Let me get on the roof and take that same roof shot that I did earlier. So here's the trees. And then I think I did a shot because what I'm curious is I think that we're getting blurry, a little bit more blur on the left and right edges than on the 20, on the 49 inch. And I'll do the same thing I did in the, with the 49 inch. Um, so start wide, s play a little bit centered. Switch to this mode. As you can see with that black bar in the center, it's really, really hard to see. Oh, I died. So it's really hard to see what you're doing. So we'll, we'll, just, we'll just call that, that a quits. So now we're gonna hook up three monitors and uh, do the same thing. So now we have three 27 inch monitors set up in S, um, SLI with surround enabled. Um, now this gives us a much larger uh, resolution. Um, instead of 3840 by 1080, we're now running 5760 by 1080. This is my pre 49 inch Super Ultra Ride. This was my preferred setup. Uh, the reason why I liked it was because I could have you know, I could have brow, you know, windows open on all different displays. A lot of times I would have like all of my chats open on one, email open on the left, and then my kind of working on the right. But what happens is, regardless of thickness, once again, you can get thinner bezel. I know that. This is not about thickness of bezel or the, the quality of the monitor. This is about super ultra wide versus single versus dual versus triple. Um, but the idea is that you would have it set this way. Now this takes up a lot more workspace too. If you notice my desk has started to become a little bit more crowded. I can't have the tablet set up over there, but man, you get a lot of real estate. I, I, I can sit here and work, but I have to kind of turn my head now, whereas I'm used to just looking straight. The 49 inch is almost perfect with my peripheral vision. So let's go ahead and try gaming. Okay, Far Cry is loaded, 5760 by 1080. Um, refresh rate 60 hertz. Okay. Three monitors with surround. They're 27 inch. Once again, 1080. That's the whole idea. 
of this particular setup. It's weird because for me, I'm so used to seeing it as right here. Um, and, and what happens is this area for me is, uh, it's sort of like you either wanna look left or right, but it's also stretched out. Uh, so I'm gonna grab a screenshot, I'm gonna look up at these trees like I'd been doing in the previous. I do love gaming like this though. And I'm gonna switch to my, get rid of the comparison here. I, I do find this to be incredibly immersive. Um, and it, it only took me a few seconds to get back into it where it just fills your entire view uh, as you're playing the game. As soon as I walk past the, the bricks or like the wood and stuff, like you'll see it's in one, one setup and you'll see it kind of bends and stretches. So there it is. And as soon as it hits that, you see how it starts bending. Um, the surround mode tries to kind of simulate, in my opinion, what perspective might look like. And so you're not really, you know, supposed to look at it. You're, it's more of just to be there. Um, because it kind of warps the view, which is different than the 49 inch monitor. Uh, it doesn't seem to do that in my, in my, based on what I, the way I see it. So now let's do dirt four. My historical guy there. I want the Audi. So now we're playing with uh, dirt four on three screens. Uh, this is using uh, spanning. So start off like this, like I did on the other ones. And oh. my hood view it's pretty good it's a lot of fun um, I do I do like three monitor gaming but what what I notice is that that the kind of the blur on the left to the right um, I feel like with the 49 inch it's a little bit more direct eye ramped it so it's kind of interesting playing around with uh, the three monitors versus the the 49 inch I do not believe that the two monitors really are worth even I mean they're there for comparison but this is just cool um, so let me know what you think. Uh, three monitors, 49 inch. Um, once again, this is about a single 49 inch versus three spanned. Um, that's really the, the comparison here. Uh, I wanna thank the Human Solution for this beautiful desk and uh, look forward to, to getting some more work with it. And yeah, uh, otherwise uh, let me know what you think about this and have a great day.